How's it going everyone? If it's your first time visiting my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button if you do like this video. Um, and if you're coming back, then welcome back to my channel. Anyway, we're looking at the short cordless upright vacuum cleaner, which I've actually bought for myself to replace my old Dyson DC33 stubborn that I've got. Um, so this is a cordless unit. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and looking at how it uh, puts together and how it performs on carpet and tile, because I've got a lot of tiles floors in my house. So stay tuned. All right, so now on the front of the box, it tells you kind of uh, the basic information you need to know about the thing if you are picking it up in store. So now this thing does come with a five-year guarantee and the battery itself comes with a separate two-year guarantee, but you have to register them both separately um, once you actually get them. There's little QR codes on the back of the um, uh, products where you can register it and claim your warranty. So make sure you do that. Otherwise, it'll just come with the bog standard, like I think it's one year guarantee that it kind of comes with from in store. So, you know, this is the anti uh, hair wrap uh, version as well. Um, so that means it's got these little fins that, and combs that kind of get rid of the hair. So how well that kind of goes will depend on, you know, the test that I do. Uh, this is the blue version. So it's called the ICZ160 uh, UK. Uh, so the difference between this version and the pet version is the pet version actually comes with a uh, brush um, tool, like a motorized brush tool, but you can actually buy that separately for this one. Now, when I bought this one, it was on like a, a Boxing Day special. So it actually worked out cheaper to buy this one and the brush tool separately. Um, to, and it, you basically got the same thing then, um, cause that's the only difference between them other than the color, cause that's blue. Uh, this one's blue and the pet one is red. Okay, so on the side there, it kind of tells you a bit more about that, you know, how the anti-hair wrap kind of works. You've got the two brushes there. You've got the uh, microfiber one and the bristle one there at the back. And then it just tells you a bit exactly the same stuff on the other side. And then here, it kind of tells you about the upright, the hand stick mode and the handheld mode that you can do with it there. So I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this and see what we get in the packaging. Okay, now here is everything. Once you've taken it all out of the box and unwrapped it, this is everything you get in that box. So the first thing we'll start with is the quick start guide. So you get that to tell you, you know, how to assemble the whole thing, what accessories you should get um, and what you should check in case anything's missing and how to charge the uh, battery as well. That's all there for you. And you've got the more in-depth um, guide there as well to tell you how to clean the thing and, you know, for further maintenance, all that kind of stuff you've got there. Um, we'll go to the battery now. So you actually get one battery inside it so it's quite a weighty battery that's probably going to be the heaviest part of the whole vacuum because this bit is actually uh, fairly light so you get one battery which they say is good for about 50 minutes worth of run time uh, or 60 minutes fully on boost which you're only going to really need to use boost if you've got a bit of stubborn dirt that you can't get rid of but it does actually go into boost mode when you use the lift away feature um, or using one of the tools. So that's something to bear in mind as well. So that will kill your battery. Um, now I do recommend going for an additional battery if you have got quite a big house and you want to do the whole thing in one go. You probably will need two batteries. The good thing is about the Sharks is you've got re removable batteries so you can just replace them. Remember to bear in mind that this has got a two year guarantee of this battery. You just need to scan that QR code on the back of the battery to register it at your account. Um, and you also get the um, charger as well. So this is just the mains powered charger, you just gotta plug it in and then you um, just use the dock here and then you just snap it in there, dead easy. So that's pretty cool that you get that with it as well. You can just put it on your uh, utility room or whatever. You. Um, and what else have we got now? We've well, got the accessories here. You've got the wide upholstery brush, which has got some like nice kind of microfiber kind of feeling texture on it to the bottom there. So it gives the uh, upholstery a brush while it's doing it. You get a crevice tool. Now, unfortunately, this crevice tool doesn't have like a sliding brush option. They actually sell that separately, which is a bit crap, I think, because, you know, most vacuum cleaners come with the brush already with it. You have to buy it separately for this model, which is a bit crap. Uh, but that's something to bear in mind, you can get it though. But they do give you a uh, wide dusting brush, which is the bristles on it are quite kind of stiff, but not too stiff, you know, so not gonna like damage any uh, anything. Um, but you can dust with that as well, and it's rotatable, you can move it side to side to give you um, help in like a weird angle or something like that. So you do get that with it, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and what they do also give you is this, which is a uh, short kind of carry bag for your accessories. You can just open this thing up, you know, walk around your house like uh, some kind of 80s housewife, throw it around your, uh, you know, uh, shoulder and look like a bit of a dork. But you do get that now. The reason you, know, you don't think, might think that's pretty cool, but it's not actually that cool because the reason why they give you that is because on this particular vacuum there is no onboard storage for your tools whatsoever, which is a bit of a pain. Now on their wired versions, they do have onboard tool storage, but on the cordless one, you don't have any onboard tool storage, which I think is a bit of a massive oversight to be honest, because um, it's just a bit annoying. You're not going to be carrying around that everywhere, so. Maybe a solution would be to get a, one of them fanny packs, put all your stuff in there, walk around the house while you do your cleaning. But anyway, that's one thing you got, you got there. So here's the pipe as well. So this is the main pipe, which kind of attaches uh, onto your, uh, you know, your, uh, your actual uh, body here. So this is the actual main brush head here. So as you can see, you've got the anti-wrap um, roller with the brush and bristles there. And you've got this kind of soft, microfiber plush roller it feels really nice actually uh, it feels like a ty beanie baby uh, but that's really smart and you've got the um, kind of brush section there at the bottom as well um, and on the front you've got some headlights so you've got six leds three on the left three on the right which light up as you brush the uh, as you're vacuuming as well and you've got there on the side you've got the ejection roller uh, button if you ever want to release the roller to clean it or what have you whatever you want to do uh, but that's, uh, and you've got the wheels here with kind of like a rubber kind of wheels on it there, um, you know, to keep it gliding along and very kind of simple stuff, but it looks really smart. You've got the push uh, 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 section there where you actually put your foot on it to, you know, to kind of knock it back. So that's there with it as well. And um, I think that's a jam LED in case, you know, it, it, get, it ever gets jammed or something like that, but you get that with it as well. And uh, this is the main hose pipe. So on there, you've got a handle, um, which has got a nice rubbery grip, very nice feeling. It feels like it's gonna stand the test of time and um, you know, uh, keep going and not gonna fall off or anything like that, you know, the rubber. Um, on, and on the top there, you have got a boost carpet, uh, hard floor and your power button as well. So obviously if you're putting it, uh, the low power mode is set by default, which is just whenever you press the carpet or floor, whichever option you pick with that. And then uh, the boost uh, brings up the suction power, but you have to press and hold it from what I've read to actually use that boost. And obviously you've got your power on and off button there and they're all backlit LED, which is pretty nice. Uh, you know, you don't need a, such a long hose with this thing. So that's pretty uh, cool because obviously the main unit lifts away and obviously you've got your hose release button there. Um, and you know, it, it does feel like a good quality as well. I mean, it's plastic, but it feels like, you know, quite a decent, solid, long lasting plastic anyway. Okay, now here we have the main uh, motorized bin unit here. Um, so obviously that's your bin there. Now it's only a small bin. It says, I think 0.6 uh, liters or something like that um, capacity. So it's not that big, you know, if you're doing the whole house, I don't know, depends how dusty it is or if you've got pets or something like that and you are got a lot of stuff going on, then you might have to empty it halfway through. If not, um, and you've got mainly hard floors or something or not much dust, um, then, you know, no pets, then you might be all right getting away with one, but it is quite a small bin, but it's quite lightweight as well. The whole unit, I think once it's all built up, only weighs at around 5.5 kilograms, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but you get that with it there and your filters there as well, which it actually says, which is quite nice here, clean filters monthly. So that's nice that they give you there and you can just take that filter out and give it a quick clean. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then you have your um, hose connection there. That's where your battery pops in just there at the top. Um, you can also charge this here um, directly, uh, your battery while it's uh, plugged into the unit. So you can either have it charging on the dock there, or you can charge while it's plugged into the unit, which is a, quite a cool thing, but you only actually get one plug. So if you bought two batteries, for example, you could have one charge in there and one charge in here, but you would have to buy an additional plug to kind of uh, obviously charge them both together at the same time. Something to bear in mind there as well. So here also on the top here, you've got a pull to access HEPA filter as well, which you need to clean uh, once a year. So that's something to bear in mind. So what you wanna do is just um, kind of pull on uh, this uh, button here, uh, pull that the main bin away there. 
and then you just got to give this a pull. Now, initially, it might be difficult to actually take out, but you need to give it a bit of a tug, um, and then the whole thing kind of comes out there. If it feels like it's going to break, just you know, kind of keep kind of pulling it because when you first take it out, it was quite stiff. I kind of uh, struggled to kind of pull it out there. Then you can just put that back in there. So that's uh, a once a year clean, and then here they say once every month. Uh, clean on that there okay so I'm just gonna um, put this together now okay now these are the main parts you need to put the whole thing together so what we'll do is you actually get this bit first and it's very straightforward to be honest it's all plug and play you get your, your main hose pipe there and you simply slot that in there and it will click as well to let you know it's actually in there once that's in you get this bit here which obviously is your handle um, and you just kind of plug it in there Again, you'll get a satisfying click to let you know it's in. This bit, again, this is obviously your main unit. Make sure all the tubs and bits and stuff are all closed. This bit, you just need to kind of throw it in there. You've got these little grooves here to kind of slot it into. So just make sure you look at that. And then that's where you kind of plug it in there. So you just need to plug it in and it's in. Dead easy, very cool. And then this, obviously, hose you've got dangling here. You need to get this clip here and then clip that to the back of the pipe so it's not obviously flailing around when you're uh, vacuuming and then you've got this section here the hose release and you simply just plug that into there it's probably one of the most easiest vacuums I've ever set up there now once you've done that obviously it's a power thing you need to get your battery and then simply flip it around there get your battery pull that um, lever up slide it in again satisfying click put the lever down and it's ready to go. Okay, I'm just gonna show you all the different ways that you can use this thing because there's quite a lot of options you've got here. So obviously here you've got your normal kind of upright mode where you just put your foot on it and you just kind of push it around as you do normally. Now that's what I like about this. Now this is one of the only cordless vacuum cleaners which feels and acts like a normal upright. You know, I don't really, I didn't really like the cordless stick ones because um, I feel the weight um, having it lower down uh, feels better to kind of move around and it's less strain on your forearm if you've got all the weight up top here like you do with stick vacuum cleaners like obviously your Dyson for example so anyway yeah you got that push that there and if you can kind of push it around there like that dead easy and normal and then another option you've got here you've got a little trigger here um, which you can pull and then that kind of breaks that away from there so you can kind of pull that off here uh, off its clip and then you've got like a bit of a gun here which you can kind of shove on an accessory uh, and do some upholstery or whatever else you want to do and then again you just kind of clip it back on there so all of the um, release uh, options for the device have got a blue kind of highlight to it so you've got handle release that's got blue and then you've got the one release here so if you press that then that takes the whole wand out and again you can use it a bit of a longer kind of thing and use that and throw it around and you'll get some cobwebs, whatever you want to do. Then your uh, other option here is your lift away feature, which you can press here. And then the thing obviously lifts away completely from that. And you can got this now, you can go around like a, you know, like a soldier or something. Imagine if you've got kids, you go around with this, if you like he's got a gun in his hand or something like that. But yeah, then you can go do your like, you know, go over here. Obviously you can do what you want. It's dead easy and this, obviously by itself without that weighs a lot less as well I'd probably say this weighs about with the battery and stuff like that maybe altogether about four kilos the 1.5 is left in there and then you know it's a bit easier to handle which is great for if you're doing stairs you know you could put um, get rid of the uh, one so say for example if i just put this down here chuck that back in there throw this back in here right i want to go do my car i go take this take that go do my car or if you've got like uh, your stairs, put the uh, stair tool on, you know, go like that in the stairs, really cool. And then if you want to put it all back together, simply sh slot it all back in there like that, clip that back in there and you are good to go. And obviously you've got your buttons there and stuff like that as well. So I'm just going to turn it on now. This is the first time I'm powering it up, so I hope it, <laughs> hope it works uh, to see what it kind of like, uh, uh, what these lights look like here. So here I go and I'll put it on, on carpet, uh, hard floor mode. Oh, 
Okay, looks very cool when it all lights up. And then I'll try it with the boost as well as so you see what that looks like. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, for what that looks like there. Now I'm going to be obviously using it for a few weeks before I show you where I'm up to with it and see how good it is. Uh, but yeah, next time you hear from me later on in the video, um, I would have used it for a few weeks. So here is a test that I've done. Uh, this is on my carpet now. We've got two lines of just some like coffee granules. So first I'll use the shark on its low power mode. So it seems to have got rid of m most of it, but there is still a bit of a dark patch there. So I'll go back over and give it another pass. And it's pretty much all gone, but I think I'm gonna need to use the boost for the last bit of it there. So this is using the Dyson DC33 vacuum on carpet mode. And you can tell straight away there with one pass that it couldn't clean up most of it. Okay, so here we have some uh, coffee granules on tile and this is on the in the middle of the grout which can be hard to pick up. So I'm just going to uh, try it on hard floor mode on normal. With one pass, it's got rid of most of it, so let's get rid of the put on boost. And it's all gone. Okay, this is the same test again with the, D uh, the Dyson DC33 in hard form. It's kind of picked up most of it, which is good, a little tiny bit left there. All right guys, so I've used the Shark for about two weeks now um, as my main vacuum around the house, replacing my old Dyson DC33. Um, now, first I'm gonna go through the cons of, of this uh, vacuum cleaner. Um, now, the first thing is that's annoying that I've mentioned before is there's no onboard tool storage. So I found, you know, carrying around the three tools in the house is quite annoying because sometimes I'd leave one in one room and then move on to a different room and then have to go back and get it, which was quite annoying. So uh, that is one thing that was a bit of a pain. Um, annoying thing was the crevice tool didn't have a brush on it as well. So the dusting brush is quite wide, which doesn't really make it ideal for doing it on top of the side skirts, uh, skirting boards, you know, where the um, uh, your stairs are and stuff like that. It's a bit too wide, so it kind of hits the wall um, and it scrapes it. Whereas if you had a crevice tool with a dusting brush, you wouldn't have that problem. So you have to buy that separately. And that's one of the things that, that was annoying as well. Um, the battery life on a single battery is good enough for, I would probably say a three bed house, um, depending on, you know, if you got, uh, if you haven't got any pets or anything like that on a three, because uh, I, I got to about the third bedroom and it ran out of battery. So I didn't have room for um, a fourth bedroom um, and another bathroom. So say if you've got a three bed house with a single bathroom, you'll probably be all right with a single battery, but you'd be pushing it. Um, if you've got pets, you probably probably less. So I would recommend you'd have to buy another battery if you do have that kind of a, a bigger house, um, you know, because obviously with mine, um, I ended up using another battery, um, but thankfully I bought two. So I would recommend two just to give you that easy kind of leeway there. Um, the bin, uh, emptying the bin is really annoying. Um, as you can see in the video, um, all the hairs get kind of tied up around that stem in the middle. And it means you have to actually touch the dirt yourself with your own hands 
um, to kind of pull it away and empty it properly. So that was quite annoying, um, you know, emptying the bin because obviously you don't want to really want to touch the dirt, but you have to um, to get it out properly because all the hairs, because the anti-hair wrap system actually works really well, but it means there's a lot more hairs inside the bin. So it all kind of gets tangled up and tied around that interior stem. Don't really know why that's there, but it is, so you have to touch the dirt to empty the bin. Um, so that's quite annoying. And the bin size is quite small. So I found it was big enough for uh, our house, but we don't have any pets or anything like that. But I could imagine if you had pets, you would definitely need to um, uh, probably empty the bin once, um, you know, while you're doing your vacuuming. So that's something to bear in mind. And another thing is the LEDs on the front, um, you can't actually turn them off. It would be good to have an option for you to turn the LEDs off in a situation where you're not really using them, just to save that little like, bit of extra battery life. Um, so, you know, that's one thing to bear in mind. Now, uh, those are the cons, but the pros definitely outweigh the cons in this particular thing. I think it was a really great vacuum. So it's really ergonomic and easy to use. Um, I love the fact that you can pull it away, you know, use it for different situations, uh, making it slim line to go underneath furniture is an absolute boon. It's amazing because we've got a lot of like furniture raised on legs, legs and to, you know, to just vacuum underneath that is brilliant. And that's one thing I do love. And the fact they can switch it into one mode and all that kind of stuff, that's brilliant, really good. And uh, the fact that the battery is removable because on some colors uh, vacuum, they're not, they're fixed in. So the removable battery is brilliant and obviously once that one ran out, I could just swap it over for another one and I've got another like, um, you know, 50 minutes worth of charge there. So that was really good. And the suction strength is brilliant as well. Um, now it is better um, than my old Dyson, which obviously it is quite old uh, vacuum anyway, but it was better than that. And that's, you know, more than enough for what I need it for. Um, if you had pets and stuff like that, loads of hairs and the thing, uh, then I'm sure it would be fine. Um, but uh, that is, it was really good suction strength. And the twin brush motor is brilliant as well. On my tiled floor, did a brilliant job with that um, small microfiber uh, brush at the front. Combined with the anti-hair wrap brush, it did a really, really good job. One thing to bear in mind is what else uh, I found is if the, you've got any drops of water on the floor, while you're vacuuming, the microfiber brush kind of picks it all up and kind of soaks it up and then you end up just mopping everything. So you have to make sure that any hard floors you've got or your batteries, for example, are completely dry before you, you know, you use it. Otherwise it's going to soak up that microfiber um, brush and just going to mop it around everywhere. So yeah, the, um, uh, the, the brushes and the suction strength is brilliant. Um, very lightweight as well. It doesn't feel heavy when you're kiting it around, putting it up and down the stairs. Um, which is really good as well. Like I said, when you bring it away from the motor and you put it in lift away mode, it's only about four kilograms, something like that, and it makes it a lot easier to use. Um, it's very good on high pile carpet as well. Now my carpet is really thick, it's really high pile. <coughs> and the Dysons, they, um, they're, a lot of people do complain about the performance on high pile uh, carpet. It's so, it creates such a good seal to the carpet that it makes it really hard to push. Um, which is the case on my Dyson and um, the, the the ball, the new ball one as well, which is the p people said the same thing. It makes it very hard to push on high power carpet. This, I didn't have any of those issues. It's still vacuumed really well, got really nice, you know, uh, vacuum lines in the carpet um, through the brushes. It did it really well, but it was really easy to push on the high power carpet. So that's one thing to bear in mind. Or if you have shag rugs, something like that, it'd be really good for that. Um, the LEDs are very bright. They are really good. They work really well. Um, I, I thought they were a bit of a gimmick at first, but to be honest, when you're actually using them and you're going underneath furniture with this thing, it actually makes it really good, um, really helpful to see where all the dirt is. So that's a really good thing. And of course, you've got a five year warranty with this bad boy as well from Sharp Direct and two years on the battery, which is really good as well, a really long uh, warranty. So overall, I do recommend it. It's really good. Um, I like it um, and hopefully it will last me a long time. So anyway, hope you enjoyed my video and review. If you liked it, please drop a like and subscribe for future videos about home stuff. Um, and click on the link in the description and the pinned comment if you want to know where to get it from and check out the current price. Thank you very much.